Hi, this is Mike at WinCNC, and I'm going to show you how to replace objects with drill points. The first thing you need to know is that the drill point is under Object Replacer, and it's called a drill hole. There are several things that you can replace things with here, circles, drill holes, squares, or video marks. But this time we're going to be using drill holes. We also want to delete the original. We don't want to leave it there. We could leave it there, but we want to delete it. So what I need to do here is to select, I want to drag this around the things that I want to replace, but I don't want to drag it around anything else that I don't want to replace. And you can see here that I've selected everything, all of those small circles I'm going to replace with drill points. So I just go to Plugins, Object Replacer. I can put them on whatever layer I want here. I'm going to put them on a different layer than the default layer that's there. So I'll say I'll put them on layer 2 and I'll click OK. And you can see the layer 2 came up there. Okay, the next thing I want to do is, is get the next group. I want to go here, and I don't want to fully enclose anything. Like you can see that I got most of that uh, registration mark up there. I don't want to get any more of it than that. And you'll also notice that it did not get selected in the bunch. Only the little round circles got selected, the two millimeter circles. And I'll go to back to plugins, and I'll go back to object replacer drill hole and I'll click OK. And you'll notice that all of those registration or all those tiny drill hole circles are replaced by the drill marks. Now I only have one column left. I just go down and make sure that I select all of those without selecting anything else. Remember if, it, if I totally enclose something inside here it would select it but I'm not selecting anything and closing anything but the small circles. Do that. And even though you can't see these as being marked, you know that those were within that grouping, uh, that uh, selection rectangle that I set up there. So just go over to plugins and object replacer and OK. And now we have our drill holes. So the next thing I want to do, I don't want anything but those drill holes showing up here. So in order to keep it from doing that, I need to hide everything else. Now all I have is my drill marks. And the reason I'm doing that is I don't really have a camera and that on this PC. I'm just sending this directly to WinCNC so that we can view it. And now I'll just go to output to device because it has everything that it needs here in this layer. No, nope, I need to go here. I was wrong. I need to set up the router. Now here I've got a tool diameter of 3.18 millimeters, eighth inch. I could use that if I wanted to, but this end user wants to be able to use a two millimeter drill. I could use a three 3.18 it really wouldn't matter but in this case I'm going to go ahead and use a 2. I want to select this as inside and I don't see anything else that I need to change here. I'll click OK and now I can go to output to device and click output and it goes over to my WinCNC folder. And I've already got the file name here so I can view it. And if we zoom in here on this area, you can see these dotted lines here. Those are those are rapid moves, but anywhere where you see a squared off corner or whatever, that's definitely a drill hole and there are several in these lines. And if you watch, you'll see it move up and stop and if you pay attention and when it stops, you'll see this move. 
So that number will go down to zero and then back up and it'll move to a different point. It'll just keep doing that until it finishes all that. That's what it's doing is it's drilling through the material each time. So to see that in action, we just hit the enter key or this green circle up here and let it finish out its file. And we can zoom in so you can watch it. And you can see that it stops and watch this. Raise up and move on, raise up and move on. You can see that each time it goes down to zero, that's drilling. And it'll continue to do that until it finishes this complete file. Forty percent of the way finished, and that's the first two rows of the holes. You can see that it raises up to 0.76. That's a little over three quarter of an inch and then it plunges down to zero when it gets to where it's going. Raises up to three quarters of an inch, moves to the next forward, plunges in, lifts back up, moves over, plunges in, lifts up, moves down, and we'll continue to do that until it's finished the file. This, these numbers that you see coming up here, those are actual positions. They're X, Y positions and Z positions. on your table. Very similar to Cartesian plane. There is a second tube. Now there should be one more row just to the top. And then it should move down in this corner and stop. Be the last one, I believe. Now it's going to lift all the way up and then come back down into the corner. And the file is finished. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, remember that whatever mark you have there has to be replaced, completely replaced, by the drill mark or drill hole. I hope the video was informative. I hope it helped you. Thank you very much. Have a good day.